Welcome to this year's Halloween special. Today I'm going to be talking about why Thomas's spooky episodes are in fact great. Many have written Thomas off as either a dumb baby show, which it might be now, but it wasn't for a long time, or how the show is just too scary for kids. With that in mind, I'm going to give my thoughts on why Thomas's spooky episodes are not only good, but why they work. Just to be clear, I am focusing solely on the model series of the show, mostly the classic series, but I will give props to a couple episodes from the hit era that I feel deserve it. If you enjoy these types of videos from me and wish to see more like them, then be sure to like and subscribe and ring Toby's bell to stay notified for when I post new content. Now then, let's take a look at some spooky episodes. The main thing that makes these episodes stand out is something that the show in general excels at. Tone. The show has always been memorable for the variety in its stories and the tones that they possess. You've got happy, heartwarming episodes, sad and sombre episodes, as well as exciting and thrilling runaway episodes. Now variety in tone is something that the show in general excelled at, but it is the spooky episodes that brought the tone to life the most in their specific genre. Variety in tone helps to expand the perspective of Thomas's target audience, kids, and as such, allows them to explore different genres and discover which ones appeal to them the most. But what is it that makes up the tone? Well, in regards to Thomas's spooky episodes, I believe that there are three core components that make up the tone, and these are the music and sound design, the model work and set pieces, and finally, the narration. And it's these elements that I want to discuss. Mike O'Donnell and Junior Campbell were the original composers for both Thomas and its sister series Tugs, and they were masters of their craft. Every single piece was beautifully created, whether it was a theme tied to a specific character, an event, or even a simple and seemingly insignificant ditty in the background. This mastercraft extended into the spooky episodes. Every piece manages to capture the feeling of fear and or dread, whether it's slow and ominous, heart pounding and intense, or even mysterious. The same can be said for the sound design. The engines in Thomas were treated as real life machines, and the very realistic sound design reflects that. This extends to the episodes themselves as well such as hearing an eerie echo from an engine's whistle, unexplainable sounds that come out of nowhere, or the unwelcoming and grinding noises of gritty industry. Thomas and Friends has and always will be remembered for its music, and the scary episodes definitely contribute to that. But who can forget the impact of the show's model work and set pieces? Once again, the model and camera work emphasises the realistic proportions of the engines, but the sets are simply on another level. The sets have always been stellar, but those used in the spooky episodes are just spectacular. You can tell just by looking at them what they are supposed to convey. The mine in Toby's discovery, for instance, shows that time and nature has not been so kind to this unsettling location. The old iron bridge gives you a sense of danger and height without even having to look directly down. Furthermore, you can't talk about the model and set design in these episodes without mentioning the fog. The use of a fog machine just adds so much eeriness to any location. Shapes that were previously recognisable now become foreign and intimidating. It also helps to mask the area around the characters and serves to simply amplify the fear of the unknown as who knows what could be lurking around every corner. This POV shot from Haunted Henry is a perfect example. Overall the realism and model work just adds so much to the atmosphere, and it's something that the show in general is remembered for. Something that I think gets overlooked when discussing the spooky episodes in the show is the narration. All four classic series narrators do a great job at conveying the sense of dread presented in these episodes. Whether they're projecting a character's sense of fear. G -g 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 Ghosts! Oh dear! Exclaimed Thomas. It's getting late. Oh, oh, I'd no idea. Oh, I, I must find Annie and Clarabelle. Sounding as if something dreadful might happen. Who's there? No one replied. 
or even simply sounding spooky themselves. Good narration is really important in these shows, as it really helps to heighten the nature of each episode, and the narrators did a splendid job bringing this across and into the scary episodes of the show. Now, I'd like to give mention to a few episodes that combine all of these concepts into something truly wonderful. Ghost Train, the first spooky episode of the series, and the only one to be adapted from the Railway series. This one really sets the standard for the rest of the series to follow. Notably, this story was more light-hearted in the books, but the scene with the ghost train at the start and the heart-stopping score along with the dark lighting and fog effects just blow this episode's written counterpart out of the water. Haunted Henry. This one has it all. From eerie and terrified narration to creepy and unwelcoming sets and terrifying music, Haunted Henry is one of Season 5's best episodes. Stepney Gets Lost That scene where Stepney finds himself in the scrapyards at the mercy of Ari and Bert is dreadful, and first time viewers are going to be left wondering if Stepney really is going to make it out or not. Toby's Discovery What starts as a light hearted whimsical adventure quickly devolves into a dark and ominous nightmare, and people have the nerve to criticise Toby for being scared here. Anyone in their right mind would be in that scenario. Duncan gets spooked. The standout for Thomas's spooky episodes. This one goes above and beyond. The sets, the music, and even the ambiguity surrounding Duncan's ghost all combine to create a beautiful and yet really dark episode. I can't see any more in this episode without reiterating what the unlucky Tug has said in his video, which I'm sure you've all watched. And if you haven't, you should. Scaredy Engines This one shows that the smelter's yard is unwelcoming, and demonstrates what can happen when fear takes over your mind. Halloween While not a part of the classic series, this one surprisingly still manages to tick all of the boxes. My favourite part is that POV shot when Thomas and Emily approach the smelters. Robert Hartshorn's heart-stopping music, and that creepy glow combined with the fog effects makes it feel like you're entering the mouth of hell. I also want to give a shout out to the Tugs episode Ghosts. While not a Thomas episode, it was made by the same people, and again, ticks all of the boxes. I get the feeling that this one was something of an inspiration for the spooky episodes of season 5. Like those episodes, it even ends with a level of ambiguity and the unknown. There are plenty of other episodes that follow this trend, such as Thomas Percy and the Dragon, Rusty in the Boulder, Percy in the Haunted Mine, and several others that I could go over. I simply left them off the list, because while they certainly have elements that make them feel like they could fit in with the spooky episodes, they simply vary too much in tone for me to consider them proper spooky episodes. Still though, they are worth a watch. Well that's it. I hope you all enjoy listening to me ramble about the scary episodes in Thomas and Friends. What are some of your favourites? And what do you think about the spooky episodes in general? In case you're wondering, my absolute favourites are Ghost Train in first, Duncan Gets Spooked in second, and Haunted Henry in third. I'm sure you can guess what numbers 4 and 5 are. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this Halloween special. Be sure to stick around if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I'm actually considering doing a video on both the sad episodes in the show, as well as happy and heartwarming ones. Let me know if you would like to see those videos. Now until next time, I've been Sinners and Ashes UK, you've been awesome, and have a spooky Halloween. Bye!